Step one, brainstorming. Okay, first things first, take out a piece of paper and a pencil. His first step to any process begins with brainstorming. But how do we do that? Especially when we're all out of ideas. That's a good question. Prompt generators can be a good way to help artists overcome the dreaded art block. Other ideas can be listening to music. Another way to get your thoughts down is to write out just random words and whatever you think of. You can even ask other people for help with your creative problems. Step 2. Sketch it out. Now that you have a good, solid idea, it's time to put that on paper. You don't just go in on your canvas. Many amateurs or beginners do this. Trust me, I was like that too once. Don't be afraid to use references. References are your friend. Notice how throughout this entire sketching process, um, it's really, really rough and not defined. This is just because I'm trying to get a clear look on everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And just highlighting the important parts, basically. Step 3. Find your supplies. It's time to venture out into the wilderness. Some supplies might not be found inside the house. Like this friendly paintbrush creature. That's a good paintbrush creature. Step 4. Prep your space. Right, now you have to prep your area. Since I'm going to be painting on my wall, I'm probably going to want to wipe it down first before I paint. And then I'm probably going to want to put the paint, the background paint on off camera. Step five, paint. Now I'm by no means saying that I am a professional because I am only a teenager in high school, but this is what I would do. Um, I would map everything out in white. And if you're going to do this, I would highly suggest doing it on a background that's easy to, like, do that with instead of basically making a really, really, really elaborate background and then screwing it up. That might be really hard to fix. Or if you want to, you can do that. This is just if you screw up. Anyway. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to map this out. If I screw up, that's okay, because I can come in there later on and fix the background the way I want it to be, and then it'll be all great and stuff. So, this is basically how everything turned out. So, if you want to watch this speed paint, then you can watch it. I'm leaving it up 